welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a really cute beret hat for your bunny. So let's dive right in. Okay, first you must have a felting fabric, any color of your choice. Next you'll need a thread that is the same color as your chosen fabric. If you have a sewing machine, by all means use it. If you're done, you can always use a hand sewing needle or even a hot glue gun will do. Next, you'll need to find a circular object that is roughly bigger than your bunny's head. This is an embroidery hoop that has a diameter of 9.6 centimeters. I find this size the perfect size for my bunny's head. For decorating the beret hat, we will be using felting wool. So we will need to have a felting needle and a felting foam mat. Last but not least, we'll need a pen, some scissors, and maybe some safety pins just in case. Once you have everything you need, go ahead and place your circular object on the fabric, then trace around it. Make sure you have enough space to make two circles. the two circles you will need to cut them out. After cutting out two circles you will choose one of them to be on top. The top circle is your decorated circle, the side that everyone sees. When decorating with felting wool, be careful to not add too much wool at first. Just carefully add more wool if needed. I decided to do a simple design with hearts. Also, watch out for your fingers because the needles are quite sharp. Having a foam mat will help you handle your decorating so much better. There are many different types of bunnies out there. My bunny's a dwarf bunny, so its ear sticks out. So I will need to mark three holes. If you have a bunny with naturally floppy ears like a mini lop, then you will only need to make one hole in the middle for the stub. Found the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I won, yeah.
designing, you will then need to cut out tiny holes on where you have marked earlier. The holes should be roughly 7mm to 1cm for the ears, and the middle hole for the stub should only be 5mm to 8mm. You will then need to cut out a small rectangle for the stub. The rectangle should only be 5 to 6 centimeters, enough to tuck into the hole like a lip. We are now going to work on the bottom circle. We will fold it into a quarter like so, then we will cut a curve from the corner to make a circle inside. As you can tell, mine ended up like a diamond, so I'm going to have to fix it to make it a little more like a circle. Once you are done cutting your circle, place a circle on top of the other circle on the design side to make sure the circle fits perfectly and if you need any extra adjustments. If you are using a hot glue gun, then put the glue around the edges of your bottom circle, then place it on top of the design circle. If you are using a sewing machine or you are doing hand sewing, just stitch the two together. Remember, the bottom circle goes on top of the other circle with the design. Later on, you will flip it inside out. see something like this. For the last thing we need to do is to stitch the stub onto the burrow hat properly. You start from underneath the hat then you work your way up and down. secured the stub properly you're basically done so i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and like bye see you soon